Shalom Akim Wa Akwath. This is Pastor Jerry Carter III. This is Dabar Hakwadash Lakwak Ibar Yaqwa. The Holy Word Doctrine, Ancient Hebrew. This is a ancient Hebrew lesson what we do in our Shabbat services at our temple. We do our lesson that is under our intellectual property, Debar HaKwadash. Lakwak Ibar Yaqwa is the doctrine, ancient Hebrew doctrine, ancient Hebrew lesson, ancient Hebrew teaching. So you see here on this template, Yaqwa Ibar. Read it from right to left. You see Ya Qua and then you see a space and you see I Ba Ra Ibar. Yaqwa Ibar. And then at the bottom you read from left to right. Yaqwa Ibar. Khan. So we thank you for tuning in on today. This is Debar HaKwadash, Lakwak Ibar Yaqwa. And I am Pastor Jerry Carter III. Let us bless our Elohim at this time. Barakata Yahawah, Baha Shem, Yahawah Shai Hamash Yak, Wa Rawak HaKwadash. Thawada Rabbah Yahawah Elohim, we thank you for bringing us into another session. Debar HaKwadash, Lakwak Ibar Yaqwa to learn and understand your holy word in your ancient language, ancient Hebrew, and give us the doctrine, the lesson, the understanding of what these words are meaning and how to move forward and live and grow thereby. We ask you to be in everything that we do and say and let your name be exalted. These are all the blessings we ask. Baha Shem Yahweh, Wa Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, Wa Rawak HaKwadash. Sawada Rabbah. Shalawan. Shalawam Akim Wa Akwath. This is Pastor Jerry Carr III. This is a Debar Hakwadash Lakwak Ibar Yaqwa lesson. I am going to reference an ancient Hebrew word or what we also reference as paleo, meaning that it is predating the Grecian alphabet. This is a word, paleo, is a word that the Grecians used to identify that a time and or certain words were used prior to their learning of certain words. So I'm going to reference this word on today. It's called uh, Tha-Wai-Ba. Tha-Wai-Ba is a word that means abomination. Tha-Wai-Ba. So let's see how this looks. You have the Tha. And then you have the wa. And then you have the I. And then you have the ba. Tha, why ba. Tha, why ba. Now, that is one way of spelling it and I'm going to reference another way that is spelled I'm going to reference it on this accord Tha Wa, I, 
ba. Now you see there is a ha at the end. So when you see this ha, you see the ha is actually uh, where you hold a longer expression on the word itself. So it's tha y ba. So at the end you hear the ah con. So tha y ba. I'm going to show you how that is spelled also in the uh, transliteration. So you see in the ancient, fa-waiba means abomination. So now let's go back and we're going to spell it. And we're going to spell it from left to right. It looks something like this. Tha Y Ba. That's the first way I spelled that. And I'll do it again right here. Tha Y. Ba. Tha Y Ba. Now you see from right to left and our ancient is Tha which looks like an X or a sideways cross. And then you see the Wa which looks like a Y. And then you see the I which looks like a circle. And then you see the Ba which is Bayath which looks like a tent with the tent door with the little shape of the hook on the bottom. Well, on the uh, transliteration of how that would be uh, written in our quote-unquote English phonetics, you see there's tha. Let me give you a highlight here. Tha. And then you see Y, which is the Y and the I together, pronounced together. And then you see Ba, which is the Ba or Bayaf. Okay? All right. Now, let's go to the next one. And we're going to do it with the Ha at the end. Then you'll see the fulfillment of that word when you read the ancient manuscripts which we highly recommend that you do you train your eyes to study and read as an ancient Negro an ancient Hebrew an ancient Israelite train yourself to read the scriptures on that accord and you'll see many things in the scriptures open up to you uh, phenomenal things so Thawaiba Tha Y Ba And this is the Ba with the Ha at the end. So now I'm going to draw it again with the pictographic format Tha Y, that's the Y and the I, Y, Ba, and you have the Ha, whoops, let's correct that. So, Tha, Y, Ba, Con, Tha, Y, ba. That's with the ha at the end. Con. So we hope this helps someone. This is the end of our Debar Hakwadash.
La Quoc I Bar Yaqua. It's the end of our Holy Word Doctrine in Ancient Hebrew. Uh, this is a brief lesson of a specific word, Thawaiba. So today's key word, abomination. Khan, abomination. This is very important. It's when I teach a lesson that references the word abomination and what the abominations that were being wrought by our ancestors that caused our people, caused us to be over here on this side of the world today, then uh, you will um, really have a more in-depth understanding of how deep uh, Thawaiba, abomination, what the detestable thing, what the uh, filth um, consisted of. Um, because all things that seem to be wrong in our eyes, they're not abominations. We are just misogynized into believing that because the European doesn't accept it, it's not uh, good. So you think that's an abomination or you think it's wrong, but some things are not. Uh, however, certain things are certainly abominable, detestable, and they will never ever change from that. So, key word, abomination, thawaiba. Thawaiba. Abomination, a thing that causes disgust or loathing. A feeling of hatred. OxfordDictionaries.com Under definition, abomination. Please reference. Keyword, abomination. Tha waiba. Tha waiba. This is a universal word that carries the same meaning. It carries the same meaning from the heathen to the Hebrew. It carries the same meaning. A thing that causes disgust or loathing, a feeling of hatred. This is a law that has been in effect way before Moses wrote anything that has to do with Hebrew. All right, Hebrew Israelites. Way before Moses wrote anything that has to do with Hebrew Israelites, this is prior to Noah's flood. The word abomination was already understood. Thawaiba, a thing of disgust, of loathing, of hatred, feeling of hatred. This has always been in effect. Con? Abomination. It equals abominable, an abominable act, abomination, abominations, detestable, detestable act, detestable thing, detestable things, loathsome, object of loathing. This is found in our uh, BibleHub.com uh, reference, the Hebrew word. You see it here. You can look it up on uh, their reference link below. So let's go to the King James Version and see what it says here in uh, Genesis, the 43rd chapter and the 32nd verse. It says, And they set on for him by himself and for them by themselves and for the Egyptians which did eat with him by themselves because the Egyptians might not eat bread with the Hebrews for that is an abomination unto the Egyptians so we're going to look at that in our ancient and I'm just referencing this so you will see the word abomination there are several key words in this that many of you are very familiar with uh, which is um, uh, I mean familiar with as far as the uh, ancient manuscript so um, that's perfectly fine um, I'm not doing this lesson to do a disambiguation 
uh, on the story here. I'm doing the the lesson on the word abomination, uh, understanding that the word is a universal word understood legally by the heathen as well as Ibarium, which are Hebrews, Hebrew Israelites. So I'm going to show you that the ancient Egyptians or the heathen um, Matazarium or Matazar. Matazar is the northern or the southern Egyptian. Matazarium means both northern and southern Egyptian. So I'm just referencing the word abomination for now. Um, let's see what it looks like in our ancient pictograph, which you see me draw it. Now I'm going to show you. I'm not the only person that references the ancient manuscript. The Jews have to have a point of origination. So modern Hebrew is not the ancient manuscript. Con? Now they have our ancient manuscript where they reference all of their words from as well as the European. They all reference the ancient manuscript for their learning and word pronunciation or word development. That's how you develop transliteration because they do not continue to use the ancient language. They made different languages by referencing the original ancient language. So I'm going to show you, you see here in this verse, I'm going to show you the word abomination, which is thawaiba. I'm going to show you how it looks in the ancient manuscript. All right. So first things first, I want to show you right here at the top left. This is where the reference is. This is when our ancestors were living in Israel. They call it Paleo Hebrew, which is the ancient manuscript that was written before 585 B.C which is the European carbon dating. Con? This is European carbon dating. This is not a specific date that you can find written in a Bible. This is an artificial European carbon dating, which is what the scripture describes as they will think to change times and laws. So you cannot take this date and go into the Bible and say, I want to find the year 585 B.C. in the Bible. Um, you will find the events that take place where they put or affixed this date. The event that took place is the Assyrian captivity of our people and also the beginning of the Babylonian captivity. So this time... 585 B.C., you have to go and read uh, Isaiah, Jeremiah. You have to study the prophets uh, and understand uh, even Daniel when they were in the early years of captivity in Babylon and in Assyria. This is the ancient manuscript. This is what is called Yahawadam Ibar. So you see right here, as I wrote on the template you see tha wa i ba ha tha wai ba when you when you have the ha at the end there is a more uh intense pronunciation or a more intense expression to really get the feel in your vocal cords and in your spiritual capacity to express how bad this situation is. So according to the heathen, Khan Matazarium, which are the Egyptian, according to them, it was Thawaiba. It was a nasty, filthy thing for them to break bread, to eat, or to consume any product of food with I bar yum with Hebrews. Con?
Coming soon, more Yaqua Ibar lessons. Copyright Debar Hakwadash Laquak Ba Ibar Yaqua. Pastor Jerry Carter III. Debar Hakwadash, the Holy Word, Laquak Doctrine, Ba Ibar Yaqua in Ancient Hebrew. The Water Shalom.